most remarkable way that we could have possibly decided our winner for the preliminary final. That was the measure between the Melbourne Roys and the Sydney Lions. A millimetre in it, a millimetre either way, and the Lions are the ones playing off in the final. But for the Melbourne Roys, who have never had the opportunity to win the Bowls Premier League, they've been in the final before, but they've never won it. This is a fantastic opportunity. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into our final. And we start with the home team, the Murray Steamers. Michael Walker is going to get an enormous amount of support from his family and friends here tonight in Moama. Ryan Best has had a fantastic week. Every chance to be the MVP of the tournament. And you wouldn't even know that Joe Edwards was injured yesterday. She was superb earlier tonight. We just saw the Bucks party. Yes, that's right. There is a Bucks party here at the final tonight at the Bowls Premier League. They'll be cheering for Murray. There may not be as much support for the Melbourne Roys, who have been out here a couple of times tonight already. Let's have another look at their lineup one more time. Carla Krasanik will probably come in towards the later stage of the game. That tactic seems to be working well for Melbourne. How big was Matt Flapper? A couple of those massive drives were huge in the preliminary final. And Aaron Wilson, big time man, big time moment. Big time player. The Melbourne Roys are in the final. Well, they've had the chance to stay out there, Melbourne, playing a really close one, obviously, against Sydney, but just get accustomed to, to the conditions. It's definitely cooled down here on the green in the last half an hour, so maybe that might alter the speed slightly, but I'm sure Murray haven't been too far away. They've been watching what's going on. Lindsay, I can't wait for this final. Thanks, Jack. Our last cross of the uh, BPL event. Brian, what have you been up to for the last hour? Oh, I just watched the first set, then second set we went for a little roll-up. That's what we've done every every um, game before the TV game. And then just watched the exciting finish there with, <laughs> with the measure coming down to the last end. So, yeah, just relax and uh, ready to go. Very good. And you've played this time slot two new over the last three nights. Do you think that's going to be in your favour tonight? Yeah, I, I think so. We played two last three and the second last. So hopefully the ring's the same as it's been the other nights. All right, best of luck. Keep the form up. Thanks, Maddie. Maddie, a bit of Groundhog Day. We're back again. It's, uh, yeah, we are. <laughs> uh, and I, it's uh, awesome. Awesome to be part of this and uh, really looking forward to the game. We haven't talked much about your coach. He's a bit of a, a silent one. Any tips on what he does with you guys? Does he pull a, uh, make it difficult on you or what's what's the go with the coach? Not really. I can't really uh, say too much. He's, he's, he is pretty quiet. He's uh, just, you know, he goes about his business and we pretty much run our own race and, uh, you know, there's something that's not working. He'll contribute. We'll try something different. So, yeah. Nice. All the best to the Roys for your final. i uh, like to see you win it. But, Murray, who knows? Could be anyone's, but Could let's anyone. go hard. Uh, hopefully uh, both teams put on a show. So, let's do it. Best of luck, Flaps. Can't wait for this final. And our coaches. I reckon that they will put on a show. In fact, there's nothing more certain of it. Two of the best teams in the competition all week long. The Murray Steamers have led the way, have been somewhere near the top of the table. And for the Melbourne Roys, they, they led themselves at one point. Going into one of our night broadcasts, they led. And now they have a chance to be there and to win the Bowls Premier League for the very first time. Barry Lester stuck around for this final. Baz, that's how you start a final. Look at that first up. Yeah, once again, it's that side of the rink, Jack. Uh, we're going to see a lot of bowls played down that side. Um, Aaron Wilson's really picked it tonight. He's playing so well. And Matty Flapp is backing him up. And I'm really loving Carla Krasanik's performance as well, coming off the bench. Four or five, six months pregnant and holding up, holding up really well. A lot of bowls played this week. 14 pool games. And if it sees that you play all the games in finals you will play 17 games so it's a lot of bowls over four days and Carla's holding up well it's good to see and here we are this is what it's all about BPL 11 final so, uh, pretty club. decent swap mate Aaron changing Great hands with good success Cody Packer from the Perth Suns is with us for the final as well 
Coates, what a prelim we just saw. Oh, that was terrific, wasn't it? I saw the last few ends out the back there. <clears throat> um, I'll be honest, once we were out, this was the uh, final I was hoping for. Mm. This will be an absolute terror. And I think it's really important that uh, <laughs> on cue, the Murray were able to get Joe Edwards up because she's been a star on this rink. Four in any piece of the bowl, mate, you'll end up on it. This is huge for Aaron Wilson's confidence. If he can put this jack in the ditch. Gets this early. He can get it off the white bowl of Joe Edwards. You'll know pretty early too, won't you? He's in the area. He's very close. Oh, he's getting all of it. He's got every part of it. Oh. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. Yeah, it's a good shot. Didn't quite middle it, but that's a great way to start your campaign. Two bowls within a yard and a nice runner. The final. Love to see Joe switch to the forehand here and try and get something close. He played a lot of bowls with Disco Baz. Is that, that's huge for him, is it? Get that early one and he's he's pretty much away. Yeah, no doubt. And oh, like I mentioned, uh, I think the previous game, he's chasing so many bowls. He's full of energy. He's looking fresh. He's looking pretty fit. And Joe Edwards. He's going to stay up. What a shot here. Yeah. Oh, oh, it falls wow. in. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in the postcode of Moama just went, oh, what an effort. I reckon Matty Flappers uh, breathed a sigh of relief there. <laughs> that was right on the lip. Yeah, mighty try. Joe Edwards, what a quality player she is. But yeah, Disco, he's uh, having some quiet nights. Uh, he's been a little bit fluey, he said, so he's. He's saving his energy for these big games. He's playing well. How's this tremor? Looks enough at this stage. About four feet short there, Matty Flapper. I'd like to think Norm Bester could fit at least one inside that one. And the way he's been playing, he should have no issues with that. He needs to change his count up though, for sure. So that bowl just looked a little bit like I haven't played for the last half an hour to an hour. You know, I know he's a good player and all that, Ryan Bester, but you can't beat match fitness. And sometimes it just takes a bowl or two just to get back into the, the warmth of the game. Good shot, mate, Flapper. So there's been a bit of proof in past BPLs that the ones who stay on and continue to play, the ones who tend to lose that first qualifying final tend to do better. Is that, is that generally what happens? Or? Yeah, and the feedback is the players do prefer it as well. So, Ryan Best, a nice correction here. What That's how shot. it's done. What a shot. That's how you change the counter. Wow. i tell you what, Moema. A really pushing Pine Rivers here for the uh, noise meter. <laughs> Over the years, we've seen a lot of noise out of Pine Rivers, especially on the in the grandstand side. And he's as loud as it gets. How long can they start the MVP champ for Bester? <laughs> they should have started it already. <laughs> Matty Flapper. Hang on. He's close, isn't he? Needs a clear oh. road. Got to get past that white ball in oh, front. Done he's done it. Oh, no. Wow. My goodness. Oh, my Lord. He cannot play it much better. What an effort. He needed that white ball in the ditch, and they were in the money. Trying to sit the ball for four or five. Just, just feathering it. Corner of it. Oh, what an effort, Matty Flapper. Absolute touch player, the great man. If this is a first end, what are we in for? Oh, we are in for an absolute belter. He's close, Ryan Bester. Ryan Bester to draw again? for a second. He's done it once. Can he do it twice? Oh, get out. Two of the best. Well, MVP for me, Jack. Hard to argue. And they throw the challenge down to the Roys early in the final. Tonight's final for Apia. And Apia were all about possibilities and making sure that you're ready for them. Get set, go with Apia. That's huge for Murray, isn't it? Oh. First end. And to see off a couple of big shots early oh. on from, from Melbourne too. Joe's back on that favourite backhand of hers. This 
Tedesco not charging after this one. Great reply, mate. That's a nice reply. Great shot. Joe Edwards, one of the greatest players of all time. Proud New Zealand native. Done everything in the game. Sure has. Six World Cup singles titles, which is a record. I think so, mate. Overcome gold medals a, in World Outdoor Championships as well. Sorry, Bess. I'm just going to say, overcome a pretty unique injury. Yeah. I, uh, I must have been out a little run, bad run last year. Aaron Sheriff caught me a couple of times with uh, some jacks flying. All right, pal. He, uh, he got me in mate. the thigh Let's and go. got me in the ankle bone twice last year. One required a bit of ice. So you've got to be on the lookout when there's um, players like Aaron Sheriff and Ryan Bester and Matty Flapper around driving. And Joe Edwards, unfortunately, was on the receiving end of a bowl hitting her in the leg. And if you look at a standard bowl, it weighs about 1.5 kilos. And if it's travelling at a decent speed, it's going to cause a bit of harm. Oh, she's running after it. She must be feeling OK. Great shot. There was no way she was missing finals night tonight. Wild horses wouldn't have been able to drag her away. Noddy, you'd be happy with your day today, mate. Nice uh, fight back. You know, you had a good win last night and then a really good solid day today. Yeah, no, we're pretty happy today. You know, we, we knew we couldn't make finals, but we knew we could probably upset a few people. And uh, it's always important to put on a strong performance even when you're out of it. So we we're really proud to be able to do that today. And uh, a couple of good wins against a couple of good sides. It's pretty good. We'll come back to that ladder in a moment. Lindsay is right in the thick of the Michael Walker cheer squad. Lindsay, where are you? I, I can't see you in there. Jack, with my fellow uh, fellow people. I've got um, <laughs> Mick's brother here and Greg. Greg is actually on his box do. A pretty unique place to be having your box do, Greg. Yeah, different. Probably not what every 30-year-old would do, but I'm giving it a crack. And uh, Mick's doing a pretty good job with the Murray Steamers. Are you proud of him? Yeah, very proud of him. He's having a good effort. The other guys are doing really well as well. So. And are you a bowler yourself as well? No, I've just got the good looks. I gave the bowls to Michael, so... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Does something watching something like this make you want to take it up potentially, or are you just going to be the cheer squad forever? I'll be cheer squad forever. I don't have the skill that Michael's got. Yeah, I'll leave it to him. I think. Yeah, but I do enjoy watching. It. It's a good format and it's great to watch. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so I interviewed his workmate the other day. I was saying how he's a bit of the nice guy of bowls, and have you got any goss, you know, that we could use in the bowls industry? Any goss on your brother? He's a prick at home. <laughs> oh. No, Brutal. no, he's a great kid. Yeah, but. Um, I'm just proud, of, proud to come watch him. Brings the family together. Brings the people together. He's doing really well. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Go Steamers. Come on. Well done, Lindsay. What do you like? Yeah, great job, Lindsay. Bucks party at the bowls. I yeah. like it. I did ask her earlier today, if the Steamers get up, does she get a medal? Surely. Oh, there you go. That Take is a good question. Maybe she she did not done enough of MVP Lindsay in that one game. 100% <laughs> record. Best sub substitute player. Yeah, hey, flap up. What a response. If he can get this right, he might be able to sneak in for shot here. Well, not quite. Big attempt. Definitely in touch, the big fella. Look at the look on his face. He's got game made mm. mode on all the way. I said at the very start of the week, Baz. In their first game on the Tuesday night, I, said, I just felt like there was something different about the Roys this week. Like they'd almost felt like they'd been stuffing around a little bit in Brisbane in November and that they were going to get serious this time around. Well, when you look at things, Jack, from the last event, BPL 10 to BPL 11, as Ryan Bester, he couldn't, could he? He's going to get just pulls over. Jack slightly. That's a good show. You know, we're looking at Melbourne Roys coming last in BPL 10 to yeah. potentially finishing top mm. from Tweedhead's Ospreys to winning it to finishing last. Remarkable, isn't it? And that, look, it's pretty hard to take at the time, but in a way it sort of doesn't surprise me because BPL's had a little bit of a history of that over the years. Some teams coming out and doing well and then not so well in, in the next event, but Matty Flapper, this is quick. Looking for both bowls. Oh. No result. Did, did, did Brisbane play finals last year? Uh, uh, no. No, so they did not. Only one finalist from last year has made the finals this year. Yep. 
Yeah, it's a bit crazy when you think about it like that, isn't it? Melbourne yet to score. They decide that this is the end to use their power play. Joe Edwards, short dot, backhand around the clock. Yeah, just that's a, Here she goes. It's a remarkable stat that one finalist from last year's BPL made the finals this year. And the teams have stayed pretty much the same. There's only yeah. been really one change to the, the Murray team. Yeah, some players can just sort of um, really thrive in certain conditions or surfaces. Awesome, mate. As the BPL's travelled around the Trans Tasman the last few years, great complex down at 99 Wellington. A couple of BPLs down there. Mm. Great hospitality. Beautiful part of the world. Good shot from Joe Edwards. Go get in there, mate. Uh, these facilities are popping up all around Australia and, and, and around the world. Come on, buddy. The Straight. indoor facilities. Come on. Just close here. Again. Getting all the way back. Yeah, it's definitely the way forward. Cody, you've got a, a couple of really good indoor facilities now in WA, don't yeah, you? Yeah, a couple of really good ones, especially ones that have gone up the last couple of years at uh, Warmbro and uh, the new Coburn facility. Excellent facilities. Um, and I guess, I mean, that's just a way forward, really. I spent a bit of time with uh, Steve Saroy, Australian Hall of Famer, Coburn Life member, and checked out the facility a few months ago in Perth. My goodness. Just driving past the place, it just makes you want to call in and have a look at just phenomenal just to see the place brand new. And it was about time you got a green name oh, after yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, and it was great to see the facility first first uh, up, up close and personal because I'd, I'd seen it online and, and saw photos, etc. And Yeah, good on them. Great community facility. And that's what it's about, these venues. You see people in the room tonight might not have ever played bowls, but they understand the moment Bowls Club is a great community facility and it's a place that they can come and go whenever they please. And ideally, we want them to put a few bowls down. Yeah, yeah. I've never, I'd never been here before, before, today, uh, before this week. Sensational. And Moam has been a big supporter of Jack Tack for a few years. Yep. Great numbers. So a lot of sport goes on in this area too. So there's lots of choice for, for people. And they're getting good numbers through the door here, which is fantastic. The footy and their cricket league is really strong in this area. Netball as well, I should say. And Matty Flapper just covering the, any danger at the back. So Ryan Best are looking to sit this shot bowl through the hole on the forehand. So many chances down there. Yeah, there's um, just about hit anything and get shot down there. He's got a lot of room. If he sits this, you can nearly walk out on the green and give him the medal now, I believe. <laughs> well, he's going to get it through the front if he gets it. Oh, Matty was pretty happy with his last now, I reckon. Yes, that, that just shows if you've got bowls beyond the jack, it's always a chance to be involved. That's a good example of it. And not getting too jack-focused. Making sure you, you plan ahead. You know, Best is not going to miss many, and you've got to plan for what he's going to do. That's a good shot. Just gets in his eye a little bit. You know, if you're not on the jack, you probably want to be just in your opposition's eye. Make him think weight conscious. Best has got to be trying to finish about a foot narrow jack eye here. Doesn't want to get caught wide. Yeah, it is a touch slow in that side too, so I wonder if he picks that up. Looks to be on the high side. His weight needs to be real good here for a clear run. It's a very Gets difficult run. Best up. Is he going to pull up in time? No, he hasn't. No. Not for shot. He cuts one of them out. That's one of the better shots, though, we've seen on that hand all night in that direction. It, True, yeah. we, I, we've harped on about it a bit in commentary, but everyone's had their issues with it. What do you think, Cody? Draw another four, being a power play. Well, his option, isn't it? If you kill the jack and get the white on the way through, you just about make six. It's a big bowl, but I think you just draw a shot if he's holding. Yeah, you don't want to pluck your own out. I'd no, say. certainly oh, not. Oh, Matty, be careful here. There's some risk. 
Oh. Gee, a lot of risk. Maybe they're down. He didn't want to take his own out there, Matty Flapper. Or he would have lost the end. Maybe he's assuming he's down. But it doesn't yeah. look like it from It does not does look it? like it from here. Uh, and, and our, our fault, sort of, oh. to our viewers. A bit of a change of angle there. Oh, I think they might be down. I just saw, didn't think Matty Flapper would go that, obviously, if they were holding. This is close here. Unless they wanted to be ultra aggressive, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> they were down. Yeah, they were. Well, that explains yeah. it. I didn't pick that from no, here. No, I, I thought they had shot for sure. So it's a big shot from Ryan Bester, saving a potential four. Just aside from the players for a moment, that young bloke out there marking, he is having an absolute <laughs> ball. He's been rock solid all week. Uh, it might be a chance, Ryan Bester, to be the MVP of the tournament. He's been good enough to jump off the green for a minute and have a chat to Lindsay. Thanks, Jack. Just a quick, a couple of quick questions, yeah. Rhino. You're very well known for your uh, amazing drive. Do you work on your draw shot just as much? You've been in great touch. Yeah, yeah um, ever since I moved up to Queensland, uh, the greens are so good up there, you have to draw a lot. So, you know, the last eight or nine years, really focused on my jogging because you, you drive for show, you draw for dough, as they say. So, <laughs> in this surface, you know, it's brilliant. You know, they can get close pretty easy. Yeah, definitely. And Joe again, getting you off to a really good start. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome having Joe there. She's really smart in the head as well, which helps out, um, especially in the quick time limit. Um, I can swap back and she calls a shot and I just try to play them. Nice, and you seem to be getting all four sides of the ring quite well with your bowls. Yeah. Are you favouring anything in particular? Uh, no, I got, I got Taylor GTRs, which are good. Um, and um, yeah, just, you know, you just have to draw a way to go a bit bigger. Um, the little yard on shots are a bit harder. No worries, I'll leave it to your business. Right, good thanks, job. Lindsay. Well done, Linz. Appreciate Ryan Bester's time. Big thanks to Bowling Club Insurance Brokers as well, more simply known as BCIB. Proud partners of the BCIB Australian Jackaroos. Supporters of lawn bowls in this country for over 30 years for all of your insurance needs. Think BCIB. Just mechanical. That's probably the one of the better words for Joe Edwards. I might start naming the backhand bandit. <laughs> Just get, keeps getting the job done. Event after event. Good shot. Gave that one a chance. To call a power play and then put two bowls inside 18 inches. Um, it's just what this game's all about. Utilising all the moments, all the different well, components of the game. If she gave anything away during her play, I'd know if she was close or not. But she doesn't give anything away. No, not a thing. Chasing this one, her legs. And she's inside it again. She's such a competitor. <laughs> Same shot. Yep. She is just made for finals. She's so tough. She just refuses anything but success. And no surprises with her, her logo on the on the middle of her bowl there. The silver fern. Correct. Oh, yeah. Well, that's promoted that's right, the jack so. towards one of their existing bowls and changes the count. Perfect weight by Aaron Wilson. Just to arrive, promote. Caught enough of that split, punched the jack back. And on this carpet, you don't have to give it much. The jack moves around a fair bit. He's happy with that. It's almost a signature hop and finger salute, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Loves it. We need some gifts. We need some more gifts like we had in the last BPL jack. Yeah, we did. We had a few gifts. Yours was a good one. Yeah, there was plenty of gifts going around. I think I might have used your one a few times from there. <laughs> the thumbs up. Put a best of brilliance there. Good shot quality of play here is superb. We hope you're enjoying this BPL 11 final. All Victorian shootout. And Matty Flapper gets the ball away. Absolutely beautiful. He got that one away quite nice. He's in the area here. He's played this well. <laughs> a little bit of a wry smile from Matty there. He knew it. A bit stiff there. It's the opposite of Sauce Evans. <laughs> How do you find that hole? Ryan Bester. I think if he doesn't get the shot here, he needs to just slide on past. If he can get something past the jack, he has the opportunity to play a bit of weight. <laughs> Wants it to turn. So the next best result here is he can get past. Yeah, that's a good area. So he might look to play some weight here. He, front cannon might get something. If not, bear jack. So Matty stays positive here. One's probably not enough with the way the steamers are going. Mm. You'd want at least two. 
It's a power play two for Murray. And a multiple that this should hold a much line down this forehand. Just the speed, maybe. Still got one bowl to come, Melbourne, but this is the shot right here for Ryan Bester. Does he play anything else, Noddy? Does he look to... That's, that's Cody. Oh, sorry. That's all right, buddy. Well, well, yeah, and, and anyway, <laughs> just how are you, Noddy? I hope yeah. you're tuning in tonight, he is mate. Tuning in I'm, obviously think, I'm obviously <laughs> thinking about you. We both love the forehand, I can tell you that. Um, but does he play anything? No, he doesn't. He needs to, some jack movement here. Oh, good wait. Flapper draws another one here. Side thing, four, really four. sets up. Cracking last end of this. Just use that last white bowl as a cushion. This is huge. Touch of the jack can make three. And he flap up. Actually, I can almost guarantee Noddy's not watching this. He's oh, uh, sipping bintangs in Bali. Come on. There you go. Annual oh. family trip to Bali. He is he on ah. the high side? Be careful, Matty. Be careful. Oh. oh. oh has Gee, he? that was he risky. Hasn't, has he? This is a massive difference. Well, that's, that could be one up or... This is, it's been the night for measures. <laughs> Hopefully this, I don't joke. It's a big turnaround if he's given oh, us away. I'll tell you what, look at that. Going to our umpire again. Oh, we've got a different umpire this time. Okay. So the markers are just taking out the shadow, sliding those mats. Okay, so what you'll see here is they'll measure the blue bowl, go around to the white bowl, and then back to the blue bowl to confirm here. Umpires are well trained in these situations. Using the calipers, as we can see there, just measuring the Melbourne Roy's bowl. The steady hands of Baz. He's, yeah, he's a good man. Great technique. Yep. Knuckles on the ground. Needs to, get, needs to just get to the center of the bowl there. Pressure on this measure. It is Melbourne. Well done by our official two. So the Roy's importantly still alive. Get in there. And they get on the board with one end to play in the second set. Lindsay's got one of the stars of this match. She'll talk to a little bit later. Joe Edwards. Yeah, well, uh, if, that was, uh, if that was turned down to Murray for one on their power play, that was 6 0 and that was set over. So. Good start for Disco. Very nice start. Long end here. Well, if you've just arrived, you're going to be struggling for a seat because <laughs> it's a packed house here tonight. There's not many seats available. Hold well on, Joe Edwards. Nice reply. Has she been outside a foot yet? <laughs> if you want to, if you want to stay, stay. I've uh, been coming to my home bowls club for around about 20 years, and support of not only their events, their tournaments, and so on, the club. Moan Bowls Club is a proud sponsor of Bowls Victoria. I don't know what you're worried about. Let's get to well done, mate. the bench of the steamers. The coach, super coach, Dave Ferguson, is mic'd up for us. How are the nerves over there, Ferg? Oh, it's not too bad, actually. We um, obviously going into the day and surviving a, probably a last round thriller. We came in with a, anything's a bonus from here. Uh, and, yeah, it's good to have the local crowd and we're, we're actually really enjoying it down here. Hey, uh, Dave, it's Cody here. How you going? Good, bud. Touch it through. What's it like to have a uh, front row seat to the Joe show? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, 
it's been all week, mate. So, um, and then we, when she wasn't here, we had Lindsay, who just probably just as good. So picked up where she uh, left off. Yeah, it was uh, pretty phenomenal, and uh, Mix uh, played a pretty uh, good uh, support role, and um, he's played some big games today to help us out too. We're gonna uh, we're gonna get him to uh, get the crowd involved when he comes running on. Oh yeah, definitely. Get a bit of love. Yeah, it'll be the Walker show. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'd love to it'll see the, the crowd show. erupt. Yeah. Hey, uh, Fu, can you ask Mickey for me if he's going to harness the good and block out the bad? Can you ask him if he's going to do a bit of Happy Gilmore action tonight? Happy Gilmore action tonight, apparently, <laughs> Baz is saying. <laughs> yeah. He's got a lot of good to harness. All the crowd is behind him. Great show. Joe Show on cue. Big crowd here tonight supporting Moama. Murray Steamers. Trying to catch up with... The steamers bench will go back there a little bit later on. Another really good head of bowls. Look at all six of them to start us off. You'll have each done exactly what they need to do. Disco hasn't left anything short when they're chasing three. He's given Matty a chance to make the number. Joe's put a couple around the head like she needs to. This end could be anything. So Matty wants to stay on here. Good intentions just to arrive. Oh. Must stay on. All sorts of chances. So they're in the box seat here, I believe. Roy's to at least score this end. There is a number available, but the box seat, majority of their bowls past the jack, like you say. So is Ryan trying to draw to the tee here, Bess? I think just to that corner, because if you can get to the deepest part of that corner over there, matching those blue bowls, it makes Matty Flapper's weight control super critical. So Matty has to play a real tough draw shot now, or go Barry. real big and bury it. So as you can see, the scoreboard there on the right-hand side. They must get three at least here to Melbourne Roy's. It's a tough end to play this kind of way. Both teams been in the event since the inception. Hang on. What's he got? Oh, that's not what he wanted. Tough. That's not the result. So this is where you start to plan for the next bowl. Matty Flapp has got to, I think, consider the, nominate of the nomination of the kill. It's one of those uh, things in a curry. You, you got to be thinking ahead, don't you? Two and three bowls ahead. Absolutely. Mm. The second you don't, you can get caught out with a score that you didn't even see. And and this format's so quick, you don't have time to think about it after it's played. You've got to be, like you say, that two, three bowls ahead all the time. Great shot, Ryan Best up. I think we will see huge, huge weight here from Matty. So there we go. Nominate the kill. Marker is in danger. Joe's probably going to leave the rink. Yeah, I, if Doesn't I was two in one week. If I was Joe, I wouldn't be standing there, just in case. That's about where it's going to. Yeah, that's... Okay, Matty flap up. Well renowned around the world to be arguably the quickest and biggest driver in the game. Got it away pretty well. But couldn't do anything other than knock one of the front bowls away. First set to the steamers. They're not going to bother playing that last one. There's no need. There's two shots. Steamers win the first set in very impressive fashion. It's got to be said as well. Six to one. One set away from being crowned champions for the second time. We'll come back with the conclusion of the BPL final on the other side of this. Here we go, we're going to start it in 10 
seconds. You are just getting the cue. And four, three, two, one. Let's start it, Dom. Now, you guys, this is our last chance to unite. This is our last chance to come together and become the BPL Gold Club Choir. Are you with me? Isn't that superb? Isn't that fantastic? Sweet Caroline on the final night. The crowd have had a brilliant week and they've been so supportive of this event. A lot of them here to support the Murray Steamers and a lot of them might go home very happy if the trend of this match continues. The Steamers won the first set six to one. Just too good. Yeah, really impressive uh, first set there, Jack. Joe Edwards, really, foundations, that's what you want. Critical mass, bowls in the head win matches. There's no doubt about that in all formats of the game. And Joe Edwards has done that, kept setting it up as she has a little bit of a sing while she watches this bowl come down the green. And no surprises, but she, close. Fi she finishes within uh, two feet again. So can I, can I throw a scenario at both of you? Could Joe win the MVP? I, she only missed one game. Only one game. It would be a really good story. I'm not saying she doesn't deserve it. By all means, she does. Uh, I'm just going to probably stay a little bit traditional, <laughs> e.g. Brownlow in the AFL, and say it's more so a skipper's yeah. uh, trophy. Not not that I want a skipper to win it. I'd love to see a front-end player win it. But um, if you look through the skipper's uh, this week, you'll probably see that the majority of the skippers, e.g., Marshall, Kelly, etc., etc., Bester play pretty much yeah. every end of the every match. Um, so it's hard for that front end player to 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 get all the votes. But um, let's do it. Let's let's see a front end player win the MVP. Why not? Well, the only reason I asked is because before she got injured, everyone was saying, "Gee, Joe Edwards is oh, on yeah. fire," and you just wonder whether she might poll a lot of a lot of twos and ones and, and do it that way. Oh, you'd, you'd certainly think she'd be up there. Um, I mean, I think I'm with you, Baz. Traditionally, it's been a, it's a skipper's or a midfielder's medal. Um, <laughs> but I can certainly vouch for the game she played against us the first night. I, I've seen some very good leading displays, and, and you, you've, seen, you've showed some very good leading displays, but I've never seen anything like that. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's, that's what she's done for so long. Look at this. You know, two bowls pretty much down the same line, trying to add some weight, slide on past, and three out of four bowls are hers with inside two feet of the jack and it just creates more opportunity for her back end player players and in, in, in uh, Ryan Vester and yeah, you just every skipper's dream just to have a, a win for that front end battle but, uh, it's a nice shot Matty Flap just slide past but he wins this one yeah she doesn't waste many um, correct which I think is massive yep. and, and even the one she isn't within two feet they're generally past the jack um, and when you've got a bloke like Bester, if, if the heads are set up that he can play a, a decent weighted shot without risking dropping the score or peeling one of theirs out, the only one in the head, you generally don't lose too many, and, and that's been evidence this week. Yeah, when you always watch Joe, no matter where it is, 
very rarely will you see a bad bowl played. You'll see, obviously, good bowls, but you're right. Spot on there, Cody. Right, best up. <laughs> wow. Beautiful weight control. Massive result in the end, but great weight control. Chances off there, as Mike sort of that area. Team landed there. And this is the kind of speed for those sort of shots, isn't it? You sort of just got you get your bowl in the zone. Um, you know, a lot of people say that's luck, but you've got to play the right weight on the right surface. Hurry. And, Hurry up. you know, if, you, if you're too wide, you're giving your bowl a chance. So, you know, in comes Disco oh. on cue, and what a shot. Very good, Aaron Wilson. I think the main thing I've seen so far from this game is... Up he as goes. Well as, <laughs> yeah, well, as well as the Roys have played, and, and they have played good. Um, the setups have been pretty harsh for them. Best has had some really good setups playing too. Um, it's been a scratch for the Roys to make a score, and, and I think he's in his own again. I mean. Oh, Ryan Best. Uh, <laughs> everything he touches is turning to gold. <laughs> That's, uh, check his fingertips, you might see some gold dust on them. <laughs> Look at that. That's massive. But you're right, Cody. Just giving his bowl a chance. Yeah, okay, he's a bowl and a half wide of the target, but just good Go weight on, control, bro. like you say, Let's in the go. area. I mean, if it's Pine Rivers on a 17-second carpet, it's a different game. But he knows if he can put his bowl in the area with four feet when he's down like that, anything can happen. Turned a lot. Look at that walk, too. He's a, the body language of Bester just looks so good here. He just knows he's in... A zone. I reckon he walks about five k's an hour quicker mm. when he's in form. Well, he's chasing this one. He jumped after this one really early. If this gets to that little straight patch at the right speed, he will draw a shot here, and I think he has. Expect anything less. What a player. He's having an extraordinary night. So there's been five skippers bowls played. Get through that, your team. And they have not, not changed the outcome of the hit. Aaron Wilson, that traditional setup. Off he goes. Let's watch the body language. He's stalking it. He close. Oh, he's after it. He's, he's got, got the jack. jack. What a shot. He does have the jack. He he's takes the shot. This is world class what we're seeing. That's six conversions in six bowls. That's, if you're not watching this, you're doing the wrong thing. How much does it mean to him? He knows, especially losing that first set. Got to get off to a good start. And you can see the reaction. A couple of his Jackaroos teammates are sitting in the front row in the background, and, and they would see that all the time at training, and even they were saying, wow. Yeah, it's definitely his pet shot. You know, you know there's a lot of good players out there over the years. We talk about Ryan Bester's driving ability and players with certain shots, but Aaron Wilson on the attack. Very, very consistent. Won many, many titles and probably stressed out a lot of opponents over the years with that weighted shot. And very consistent. Manny Flap is backing him up well. In form. The New Zealand superstar Joe Edwards continues. It'll be the last end that both teams will play with these current combinations. Michael Walker, and Mr. Michael Walker there in the foreground, and Carla Krasanik will come into the game next end. Can Michael Walker come on and light it up for his home crowd of Moama? Won the club singles here, I think, when he was 16 years of age. Yeah. He's played for Victoria at all levels. And he was part of their team that won it when they, the year they came into the competition, BPLO 2. So this stage, albeit it's a bigger crowd supporting him, but it, it won't daunt him. You have to walk through the hallways of Moama Bowls Club. You see Michael Walker's name feature pro prominently on the blackboards, on the, on the boards here. And Joe Edwards. <laughs> <laughs> Out of things to say oh, about God. it. God. I could usually talk for an hour and a half, but <laughs> I'm, I'm running out of adjectives for Joe Edwards. She's a robot. She oh. has to be. And we say that with love, of course. 
because of how well she's playing. Maddie Flapper in response, not a mile away there. I reckon she'll be inside a foot, Jack. And if her form on this end's anything to go by, she might even be closer than that. Come on, Joe. Yeah, she stopped us to do some gardening on the carpet because she knows she's close. Oh, <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Oh, wow. My goodness. Can you just clean that up for me? I've drawn another. It was a, I think it was a cricket. Let's have a chat to Maddie Flapper. Maddie, what's, what's needed here? <laughs> uh, we're on the attack. A <laughs> couple of catches, but uh, let's see what... No, wide with the first. He's getting one out, Maddie. Uh, Joe Edwards is making life a bit difficult at the moment for you. It's um, something she's become pretty good at. Isn't it? <laughs> is it is, is it almost boring, Matty? Um, not for the person that's copping it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not as much fun, is it? <laughs> Matty. But, uh, we're still we're still a chance here, so oh, you're uh, easily in it, mate. Long way to go. This bike will light it up in a second. Tangles, you're pretty impressed with the fact that Joe's mastering that difficult hand. Oh, mate. Run it in, mate. Still got the tee. Yeah. I said to Ryan just uh, two ends before, I played three bowls, and I reckon there was half an inch between all three of them and three different reactions. That one just crossed the centre line and went away no, to the a left. a tough side, but Joe certainly handled it. That's amazing. Well, that first end was an important one, wasn't it? Just to, Even just a one would have been good, but to pick up two on the first end of the second set was a big result. Oh, we need, we need to get in the front foot, for sure. So, you know, and like I said earlier, it's just a bad attack. And uh, give yourself a chance, so... Good luck. You watch this one. You'll get this. <laughs> Early call from Matty Flapper. Interesting to see what happens after this. Aaron Wilson, I'm guessing, will stay out as Matty Flapper goes back to the... In the change. So four down. It's been an interesting decision now. Run at the jack twice. Four down a lot. Oh, you back to that sort of land, mate. Trail the jack for two. I like the call. It needs to be there. Just to hang around the head if something he doesn't middle anything. He yes. needs to turn. Close. This is it's going to so be close. Really, Get really go. close. It's so oh. close. Oh my oh. god. Oh. Not close enough. Very stiff. Mighty attempt. Great call, Matty Flapper. He wanted Aaron Wilson to just hang around. Yeah. Line, so. so it was either middle jack or middle bowl. He ended up getting half and half. Yeah. <laughs> but he had to go that direction, didn't he? If he went the other direction and made any contact, that would a world of pain. The perfect call from Matty Flapper because he wanted Aaron Wilson to hang around if there was any halves going on. And he didn't quite, so best of just... Looking to draw another here. Signals two for the Murrays. We'll draw for three. The crowd will let you know. He was never going to miss oh, that. That's noise. Look at him go. Oh, we've got more. That's the double. <laughs> In comes Happy Gilmore. Ryan Best up. One of the very best in the world of what he does. Steamers jump out in front. Listen to the noise for Michael Walker. How good is that? He's harnessing the good. <laughs> Locking out the bad. Three ends to play. Michael Walker in, Carla Krasanek in. Both teams still with the power play. If he draws a, a knocker here, the roof might come off. Michael Walker's very close. Great line. Yeah, it's a good starter. He's got his line early. Good start. I went over and had a chat to him, boys, just about an, oh, 45 minutes ago. I said, Mickey, I said, I didn't see you look and turn to the crowd once and really take it in, you know? All this crowd's behind you. And he said, I'm going to do Happy Gilmore. I'm going to, I'm going to harness the good and block out the bad. <laughs> <laughs> what a character, Michael Walker. And Carla Grzanek just needs to clear that one. They both play off to a pretty good start here. I think... Most games I've seen Carla come on, she's made a pretty good impact coming off the bench. So that'll be key 
for the Roys to uh, get back in front in this second set. Here comes Michael. Oh, shooting. Happy. They're going to love this one. There they go. There's his mum there, front row. <laughs> that good zap. Face of concentration. Carla Krasanek, two-time Commonwealth Games gold medalist from 2018. It's a clear road. Weight looks pretty handy. It's not bad either. It's pretty good shooting, really, coming off the bench. Um, you know, packed crowd, uh, cameras, final, a lot at stake, and all four bowls inside a couple of feet. And the standard was set. You know, there was a standard they had to live up to, and uh, Happy certainly done that. <laughs> Michael Walker could put a bowl down four feet away, five feet away, and they'd be still cheering. That's great to see. And can she steal this crowd away? It's, it's big in the sport of bowls. It's home crowds. Just going to hang high, I think. It's not quite shape around, as you say, Cody. It's not bad, though. Cut on the area. Murray holding two shots at the changeover. Lots to cheer about for Michael Walker and his crew. There they are, Ryan Bester just walking past. And his brother and all of his mates are here on a Bucks night. Not very often that your mum would be on your bucks night, though, and that's sort of when two worlds collide, isn't it? <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> collision, <laughs> collision is the correct word there, Jack. <laughs> so a bit of early insurance there from Brian Bester, sensing that Aaron Wilson might attack early. Tonight's game for Apia. At Apia, we're all about possibilities and making sure you're ready for them. Get set, go with Apia. Perfect weather conditions too. You see the people in the crowd just still wearing t-shirts and nice night here. You couldn't ask for anything more, could you? Oh, it's, it's a breath of breeze. It's God's country. The beautiful it Murray is. River, yep. only a couple of hundred meters away. Very popular holiday destination for people getting out of the city. A lot of boating and jet skiing and fishing. Well, as this bowl from Ryan Bester looks to be another really good one. I think he wants the jack. Oh, he's got away with it, Ryan Bester. It's a good time to go to the Murray bench. Lindsay's there next to Joe Edwards. Lindsay, it must be electric down there. Oh, Jack, it's awesome being down here. Um, Joe, you weren't too happy with the pretty good form of your first game. How did it feel after that set and a half there? Yeah, look, a lot better with my own personal form but um you know best to geez he, he gives you some confidence and he just plays some bombs and he's, he's such a nice bloke what so a what a show. and then this boy doesn't go too bad either does he <laughs> well, it's been great action bowl for bowl and everyone's playing their role really well the crowd is awesome is it great to be in in front of a home crowd like this look it really is you know last time i was in front of a home crowd was uh with the new zealand team over in new zealand um in Wellington, Auckland, and it just it lifts you. You know, you see their smiles on the face, see your shirts in the in the crowd. It's um, you know, I love coming to Moama. I've been here a number of times playing in the pairs and a fair bit last year, and um, they're just so friendly, and I love it here. Awesome, you're a fan favourite. So best of luck for the rest of this match. Good luck to you. Thank you. Brian best up. <laughs> There's nothing this man can do at the moment. He's not played one bad bowl. Uh, he hasn't played many bad bowls for four days, Jack. How does he keep doing it? Shot after shot. Wilson. Massive Jack. shot here. Bowl of Jack. What's he got? Needs anything. Jack oh, is a result. A four. That's a massive result. It wasn't what he intended it to be. This could be a whale for the Roys. If you're up, you're a chance. Melbourne sensationally have hit the front by three shots with two ends to play. What else has this final got in store for us? Uh, Cody and I are really struggling to, to speak at the moment, Jack. That's a, 
Absolute heartbreaker. Very, very fortunate result. Jack Ford sideways into a pool of four bowls. That's about as unlucky as it gets in this, this sport. Um, so it's a sort of a tough one to, to fathom, but uh, <laughs> that's bowls. It can happen. Now, Ryan Bester hasn't actually moved for the last, I think, 60 seconds. He's probably just taken a few deep breaths to understand what just happened. And I think Aaron Wilson was quick to apologise. But it definitely took a bit of a sting out of this crowd. It's, it's, Response is the key. He goes happy. It's one of the strangest sports you can play. Like, <laughs> Aaron Wilson is half a jack of getting exactly what he wants. And yet, based on the result, he feels compelled to turn around and apologise. Mm. Now, we'd all do it. But at the same time, he's got exactly what he's aiming for. And yes, he's got the absolute result. It's just, it's, it's an incredible sport to play. Yep. There's so much luck that comes involved with it. It's incredible. And, yeah, and the response, I think, is, is key. You know, Michael Walker, Ryan Best, they've been around. Um, just got to get on with it now. This, uh, this format doesn't allow you to, to definitely look back. Michael's done all right here. He's got a couple of bowls in the area, but giving them both a chance. And I, think, that well. and I think we all know that the key to remembering bowls is we all get them and they all come against us. So it's how you react now, exactly what you're saying. And, and really, it's, a, it's pretty gutsy because uh, a shot like that can, can get you down a little bit and to, to throw up a power play in response, it's interesting to see how they go. So Carla's played two rippers so far. She looks to be high. She probably wants a clear run now. Yeah, good shooting, Carla Kruzanic. That's, that's what you're after as a Roy, too, you know. As, a, as lucky as it was to get that score, you always want to back up a score in bowls. It's so often you can relax after you get a, a good number and let the opposition straight back in, and, and she's done really well for Disco there to get three pretty good bowls in there, and here comes Happy. Yeah. Michael Walker is meeting his own bowl there, but another one in the head. So... Michael Walker's having a bit of a chuckle. Ryan Bester still hasn't showed any emotion. I, I can feel his pain. I understand what he's thinking about at the moment, but I'm sure he's thinking, let's uh, move on as well as uh, Michael Walker tries to relax the vibe. Aaron Wilson, well, he's just got to run with it. He's got to really try and throw a dagger in now. Trail that jack back for three or give his bowl a chance. Still might be handy, that last bowl. No indication from our marker on who's got shot. From where we're sitting, it looks like one. Ryan Bester might make certain Murray. of it. He looks to be under. Last thing you want is any bad luck now. Like tapping that uh -oh. in for shot. Uh oh. Amazing how quick a game can change. Like you said, Cody, Aaron Wilson wasn't far away. We understand that. But just the result was huge in the, in the in context of the game. So now it's one to Melbourne, according to our marker. In a really interesting situation. Yep. Yeah, he's got a really good look at the jack. He does. Doesn't have the back stuff. So you have to be looking to score on your power play, don't you? Yeah. They still arrive here, no matter what. Okay. Especially after that last end, they trail by a number. So, that... so wait on the forehand. He's giving it a chance. He's into the pack. He needs white through blue. <laughs> now there's a lot of white bowls around the, the blue bowl. I reckon there's at least three seconds. And they do have last bowl. This is really important. For this yeah. game. How's the mood in the crowd right now? Oh. He's, what's he thinking? Get that jack away from that area? Or is he Either just that, drawing right up next to it? You probably want to get right on the front of it. If you want the absolute goal, right on the front of the jack is what you want. He needs to hang around. Just well, a real chance. Well, well, wow. The title is up for grabs right now. Ryan Bester has three seconds. He needs to score a multiple. It's a power play for Murray. It's been a, a week of best of brilliance, so we're going to see another one right now. He needs to get that blue bowl out clean. He's going a lot bigger. 
goes. Looking for the blue bowl. Oh, no. There goes the Jack. Oh. That's not good. That's that's almost set over, I think. That's three on the spot. Respotted. That's not good from a Murray perspective. And that pretty much takes care of the second set, which means we, barring an absolute miracle on this last end, we are going to settle this thing in a tiebreaker. Do you nominate the kill there, Cody? Like, I know it was their power play and they lose it, but yeah, that's I've, the risk, isn't it? Well, I think you probably... I think if they had their time over, they probably would have. You know, you drop three on the spot there, it's, it's pretty much set over. If you kill it, you're still chasing three and two ends. That's doable. Yeah. Um, that yeah, weight would probably require nominating the kill. Yeah. I think hindsight, they definitely would have nominated the kill there. So, six shots is the lead. They win the set, they go to a tiebreaker. What do both teams... Actually, no, scrap that because they have to play nine bowls. I was just starting to think whether you subbed someone back in. Well, you can. Uh, we, against the Roys last night, we played two bowls each in the last end of the second set when we knew we had the set. So two subs, sub them in, play two bowls, sub them back out just to get a feel yeah, for it. Now yeah, they've, you can. they've been on the bench for a little while, so they might want to look at doing that. Wow. Two rippers there from Carla and Michael Tex Walker. So six shots required. It's fair to say, three ends ago, steamers were in complete control. <laughs> yeah, they were. Absolutely, they were. One absolute result has completely changed this entire game. And momentum is a huge thing. So and Carla playing nicely too. Good shot there. Yeah. Draw six Lovely inside goals. those two. Michael Walker. Only has to just pass the Jackie. And add another one would be nice, but just has to finish a foot or two past. How's he going? Anything past here. How's uh, he going? There's two of the six required. That helps. It's good to see Michael still smiling. Even though a few things yeah. are going against him, he, he knows he, this is his moment. Yeah, if it doesn't go to a tie break, well, <laughs> it'd be a miracle. You actually have to sort of start planning the tie break out. What's your go-to length? Who plays where? Does Joe come in and lead? Does it just go, go Jack in the hole? <laughs> oh, wow. That's right. No, that's right. That's if, Melbourne Roy's, if Melbourne Roy's win the, win the toss, do they have Aaron Wilson just mat up Jack in the ditch? I think we've seen that before in a BPL tie We break. have. I think we have. Was it Disco? Yeah, I think I'm, we saw it in Auckland. I can think of one where he had a go at one in in Brisbane and was unsuccessful. But, yeah, I think in New Zealand he actually did do it once. Packed house at the Miami Bowls Club, both here and inside the club. On the bank there are the, the greens, the, the day matches inside the club. People everywhere watching on screens glued to it. I would be incredibly surprised if we don't see Matt Flapper subbed in for at least one bowl here. They'll just make sure of it, won't they? They'll just make sure that there's no conceivable way to drop a six. Oh, this is missing height. It's uh, off to a tie break we go. They won't even play this. There's no point. No. Nope. They'll toss the coin now. Not much point playing it. Aaron's... Oh, they should be just tossing the coin now. Pretty sure that ball went in the ditch. It certainly did. Mm. Disco's just going to show us some more brilliance. Oh. Unless Ryan Bester's got a nominee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, that is true. Looks pretty good. Not good so enough. tie break it is. Who wins the toss? Range finder for Aaron. Players uh, looking to their coaches. So the final comes down to a tie break. We couldn't have asked for a better result, could we? Last year in the final, Tweedheads dominated the second set. And in fact, they dominated the whole match against the Lions and kind of put the thing to bed pretty early. Oh, as a neutral spectator, this is what you're after. Um, I, I reckon the, 
the Murray crowd, and especially that Murray corporate box down there, is probably still in a state of shock, to be honest. Yeah. That came, that came out of nowhere, really. I say, who is going for the Royals? Two bowls each. So it's a Melbourne Roy's mat. Carla Krasanik's got the mat in her hand. Okay, so it's Carla to lead off. Matty Flapper to play two. Aaron Wilson to skip. And I'm thinking it's going to be Michael Walker lead. Joe Edwards two. Yep. And Ryan Bester to skip. So, all right, I'm saying it now. Cody, we might as well. I think the winning bowl for the championship will be a bowl in the ditch. Oh, there Jack and bowl, eh? I think Jack's going to end up <laughs> in the ditch this end. Yeah, which is, I find it hard to argue at this point, the way this game's been going. But You've I got too Jack. much firepower on one oh, rink. Absolutely. Flapper, Bester, Wilson. I can absolutely guarantee you in that Roy's team huddle, Matt Flapper said to Disco, you're the man, this is your moment, go and take it. And that's why he's up that end. Okay, Michael Walker. Okay. It's okay, that's why they give you two. That's it. He's, uh, one good thing to come out of that short bowl is just cause the switch. Carla Grzanik resets now. New hand, new line. She needs to find three feet of weight. The mum to be. Yeah, they've got an extra half out there. It's probably Take a bit the This is a pretty sure good one. Is. This is ah. a pretty good one from Carla. Here it is. Michael Walker in front of his home crowd. Does he do it? Does he get the shot? Because you'd be tempted to call it, wouldn't you? You'd have to call it, wouldn't you? You can't yeah, draw this. Is, yeah, there we go. Michael Walker, forehand. This could lift the roof. This is what dreams are made of. Forehand, Jack in the ditch in front of your home crowd. Everyone sits the body back language. Watch this. How good does this look? Language. How good does it look? Is he middle? Oh, it looks Walker. so good. Dreams are made of this. Michael Walker. He has given his opposition 20 inches of room to draw the shot to win the championship. He has harnessed all of the good. <laughs> a moment that he will never, ever forget. He is looking to the heavens, taking a deep breath. This place has just erupted. <laughs> How was the run? He struck that as good as you can get. But guess what? There he is. There's still room. There is four bowls to come. This is it. Matty. Oh, yeah. Matthew Flapper. Oh, yeah. Is this staying on? If that stays on. Oh, so good. Matthew Flapper. So, so good. This is a remarkable match. 20 inches of room. Joe Edwards has no other option other than just to re remove that shot bowl. And she's backhanded it. She's, and she's close. <sighs> she's not close enough. So, the Murray Steamers have the last bowl. Matty Flapper, could he do it again? He's done it before. He does not need to change one single thing from his last bowl. State skipper, 300 plus games for Victoria. Tighter. Yeah, this is coming more towards the centre line. Looks like this one's... Is this going to go in? It's no? still not bad. It's not bad. Joe Edwards. Bad. Between Joe Edwards and Ryan Bester is over a 1,000 international games, world titles. This is what you train for. This is what you put the hours in for. And she's and nice stroke of the bowl. Look oh, at, she's close up. It's a, a Joe she's Edwards. Close up. She's got it. Spirit in. What a shot! Well, <laughs> They need to make sure they replace that ball. The twists and the what turns at this end. Shot. Now, I tell you what, they need to replace that white ball. They need to be careful here. That white ball needs to... Yeah, they're on it. Yeah, well, I don't think so. It needs to lay... Oh, yep. Okay, they put it back. You beauty. So we're down to two each. I'm like your four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I, I don't think this is over yet. You couldn't dream about no, a match. I think there's more to the story. As good as this. In 2020, I'll be Aaron, talking about Aaron this Wilson. Match. Here he comes. Aaron. On the search to draw the shot. What's he done here? Hurry. What's he done? Edging it on. 
So for our viewers at home, that bowl is just past the tee, and the tee is one metre up the green, which indicates that that bowl, that bowl is obviously just past the tee there, but I've got that bowl in the ditch to be about 20 inches to 22 inches away from the jack. So that's what you're looking at here. Aaron will have one more after this, but it's Ryan Bester now. He's not there. So Aaron Wilson has one bowl to come. Cody, let's call it. Come on, mate. Oh, it's, it's disco. It's disco. It's disco. You can never count anything out. It may just be I can a... I guarantee you'll know early if he's close. It may just be a slight annoyance, that last bowl of best, Brian Bester's. But here's Aaron Wilson, tournament Did Did on the line. The, the boy from Sananad grew up only... An hour and a half down the road. He's going to stop. Needs to slow down. Is he going to stop? No, it's too heavy. It's too Just heavy. Murray, a two-time champions. What a final. Amazing game. Well done to all players. Incredible. The greatest exhibition that we have seen at the Bowls Premier League. Why would you not play Lawnbuck? Six players that left it all out on the green.